it's not just the Japanese Prime Minister who is currently in the U.S. to bolster security in the Indo-Pacific region. Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has landed in Washington to take part in the summit. Now, Philippines envoy to the U.S. has described the nation's attendance in this trilateral as momentous and historic. Ahead of his arrival in Washington, the Filipino president made a stunning claim, questioning a deal apparently signed between his predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte, and China. Marcos said he was horrified to learn about a secret agreement with Beijing that compromises the sovereign rights of the Philippines. The deal apparently bars Manila from shipping construction material to a military outpost in a disputed shoal in the South China Sea. A World War II era ship has been serving as the Philippines outpost in the second Thomas Shoal for about a quarter of a century now. And Marco says his government isn't aware of any record of this agreement whatsoever and that they were not briefed about it when he came into office in 2022 by his predecessor Duterte. Under Marcos, the Philippines has deepened military ties with both the United States and Japan. Amid escalating maritime run-ins with China in the South China Sea, Beijing has warned the Biden administration against interference in the region. Marcos will hold talks with U.S. President Joe Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The three leaders will sign an agreement on the South China Sea issues. At the end of the summit, all three leaders are expected to issue a joint vision statement on a shared vision for cooperation between the nations, namely in the Indo-Pacific. Now, Marcos Jr. is also expected to meet with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at the Pentagon before his return flight to Manila on the 12th of April. Marcos has agreed to nearly double the number of Philippine bases that American soldiers can access under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. Talks are also underway with Japan for a reciprocal access agreement to allow the presence of Japanese forces on Filipino soil. Manila is also expected to court close to 100 in investments from Tokyo and Washington, primarily in the semiconductor and modular nuclear manufacturing sector. Marcos Jr. is also scheduled to meet investors from big tech, including high-ranking executives from Alphabet.